Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Nogi course. And today we're gonna to go a little bit further on the tornado sweep and how we can set up some different attacks from the same position. So uh, like we did last time, we started out here in the knee shield guard. And I started out uh, going in for the inversion, right? So there's a couple of ways that I can start gripping this arm, by the way, when I'm going underneath him as well. Like I told him, like I said in the last video as well, there's a little bit of a timing, especially when he's leaning on top of you, that's the perfect time to go underneath, right? Now, talking about this arm for a second, if my arm is here on top of his arm like this, it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to control it as much as I want. Whereas if I'm hooking underneath here in front of his bicep and grabbing his tricep, here I have a little bit more power to go for the triangle, for example, okay? So right now, a lot of the times, if he's leaning forward, it's gonna be a super nice sweep here where I can pull him and sweep him over me, right? Like I said before, I try this first, but if they posture up or try to back off, that's when I can't sweep them forward anymore, right? So that's when I'm gonna use this free leg to kick and bring my leg that was in between his legs out, okay? So as you can see, once this is out here, I have to kind of go straight away to either the Moplata here, okay? Or chop around and switch for the triangle. Now, this is something Cyborg showed me a couple years ago. Super nice, especially if you time it well, right? So going for the inversion here, I get into the position, right? He starts posturing up. Let's go for a different angle, maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he starts posturing up and making it hard for me to sweep him over, right? So I'm gonna step on his hip with my free leg and bring this leg free so I can go ahead and get it out on the other side here, okay? Once this is done, I can now try to switch his arm over to my hip and go for the omoplata here, okay? If not, I can grab his tricep and I just swing here. Watch how I'm using my leg as a pendulum to swing and I'm pushing with the inside of my thigh on the other side to close it up here, okay? As soon as I've gotten the triangle position where I can grab my shin, of course, I wanna secure it, hold on, and then lock as soon as I get the angle, right? So let's go for other angle. So 180 degrees. So here, getting underneath, I try to go for the sweep, didn't work, push, get the leg out, okay? Um plata, or here, watch how I'm using my leg as a pendulum and I'm pushing with the inside of my thigh to close around here, okay? Grab the shin, pull him tight to you. If you can't lock it straight away, you can always use the foot on the hip to create even more angle. I always might like to make sure that I'm chopping and I can feel his neck on the inside of my thigh and right underneath my cal calves here, right? So now once I'm here, I lock it and then you have a tri tight triangle. As well as watch how this arm automatically brings his arm over to the other side here, which creates a tighter choke, right? I don't want his arm to be here and so that he can create space and start posturing up, right? That's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Wuss.